When Georgina's setup comment is free, soon known by its initials, SIF, she wanted to create a forum where the response below the line, BTL, became an equally vibrant space for debate as it was for the writers above the line, ATL. She really cared about the community of commenters and the arguments that raged in this space. On the site's fourth birthday, she wrote, I've learned that ATL without BTL is not complete. Personally, I believe that they are mutually dependent. At best, they bring out the best in each other. As a citizen, I've encountered views and opinions here that have made me think harder about all the assumptions I've made over the years, political and otherwise. As Alan said, when she died, nearly 800 commenters left tributes to her on The Guardian's website. Here is a taste of them. SIF is the only forum I've ever loved. Thanks, Georgina. You created something quite amazing. I'm not usually really saddened by the passing of people I don't know personally. But with Georgina, it was different because people like her are always meant to be there, fighting the good fight for decent ethical values. Until SIF came along, I was virtually speechless. She was the only person on earth who could have convinced me to cover a hard mini in EU flags and then drive around Birmingham looking for a fight. <laughs> Long may it continue. I hope Georgina was, a pr was proud of the monster she unleashed. I was thinking about Georgina only last week and the hard times a lot of us gave her over many threads. I'm very sorry for my part. Through that photo, she was also the face of Sif. Kind, encouraging, with an expression that seemed to hope against hope that you'd rise above your base instincts and write something erudite and witty. Well, I hereby apologize for years of disappointment. If Carlsberg made newspaper readers commenting systems, Sif is exactly what they'd come up with. <laughs> I liked it at the beginning, when it had a more anarchic, amateur, pioneering feel, and you could scroll through the entire thread. It felt like a small, intimate place. Then it got taken over by slickery and feckin' webpage designers. God bless Georgina, if he does exist, which I doubt. In this age of fake democracy, this comment section seems like the best we have in this country. There is a feeling of being listened to, unlike politicians. Thanks for the sight, Georgina. In a world where noisy voices often drown out the quiet ones, you gave the voiceless a voice. Newspapers were never like this. We were mute. I'm proud to have been banned for remarks regarding Thatcher. Having sift stopped me imploding. Some of the contributions and debates are wonderful, and you meet some interesting people here, one of whom turned out to be my son. <laughs> Thanks for a great forum, Georgina. Despite being one of the most senior people on this paper, she always found the time to listen to everyone, and really listened with genuine interest in a way that would exhaust most people, but it only seemed to feed her enthusiasm. A tragical early end to a meaningful life with a genuine legacy. Not just Sif, but the lifeblood that it's given the Grand to endure, survive, and hopefully thrive in the digital era. Truly a game changer. Thank you, Georgina, profoundly although my managers may not feel the same, having lost some time to you. Georgina had the great gift of making you feel and want to be better than you actually were. Not just more clever or a sharper writer, but a nicer person too. Living in a small village in Northumberland and working for most of the time isolated and solitary, Sif is a conduit to debate I'd otherwise not have. She was simply the kindest and most generous person. 
quite apart from being a wonderful writer and later a real pioneer. Don't it always seem to go, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. I can't believe you've put up a whole tribute for Georgina Henry, you idiots. What? It's a joke. <laughs> no sift thread is complete without someone complaining that the article shouldn't have been published at all. George was our champion. She always made you feel better. She was batting for you and you wanted her on your side. George had the glamour, fearlessness, beauty and competence of one of those early aviators. I didn't realise it only started in 2006. I genuinely believe that this site has, over much of my adult life, enabled me to shape, hone and, where necessary, change my views and what is important to me. Although I'm sure it had been a lot more productive had it not been for her. The anarchy and the chaos of the early years was fantastic. And you always listen to us below the liners. In spring of 2009, I had the pleasure of meeting Georgina. I had blagged my way into a conference on digital journalism here in Athens with the intention of picking a fight with her. After Georgina's talk, questions were invited from the floor. So I stood up and said, I'm one of the people on the thread you just talked about. I'm Kisbot. At this, she loudly blurted out, I thought you were a man which raised a laugh and threw me off my stride a bit. But I wasn't about to back down, so I put it to her that it was a bit off that The Guardian had banned one of the people who had made the comment platform what it was, and that Jay Rayleigh should be reinstated. But he called, called Tony Blair a cunt, she cried in front of an audience of Greece's finest journalists. I really was speechless, and I could think of no retort to that. Not least because it was true. He had indeed called Tony a cunt. She then invited me to come down to the stage and have a chat with her. She was so warm, friendly and engaging that it was impossible to pick a fight with her. You couldn't beat her in an argument, but she was so immensely likeable that it felt like a privilege to lose. Georgina, you've created a second family and given people a voice they never realised that they had. What an achievement and may you rest in eternal peace. The other thing about Georgina that was startling is just what a handsome woman she was. Her photos never do her any justice at all. It's a terrible loss for the world of journalism and The Guardian. She was a brilliant woman, and none of us would be here at all if it hasn't been for her vision. Thanks for creating Sif. And you were too young to die, and it isn't fair. How sad. But what a great legacy. Don't screw it up, Guardian. <laughs>